Express incorporates many automatic settings to help make maintenance as hassle-free as possible. All of the fluidics are continuously monitored for low levels or when the waste is full. We have weighted filters that we recommend to change periodically. Inside the Novasite, we have two filters that need periodic changing as determined by use. Notification will be displayed within the software when these filters need replacing. The sheath inline filter is changed by following the directions on the screen, essentially unscrewing the two connectors, replacing the filter with a new one, and attaching the tubes to both ends as it was originally. For the waste filter, again, disconnect the two tubes on either side of the filter. Make sure the filter is oriented in the correct direction and reconnect the tubing. Filters within the fluidics tanks are slightly different. Here is an example of the type of filter in Noble Rinse and Noble Clean tanks. All it requires is to pull off the old filter and push on a new one. The sheath fluid filter requires you to detach the tubing and attach it back together with a new filter in between. D-Bubble. This removes air bubbles from the fluidic system. Cleaning. This button uses a cleaning solution to decontaminate the biohazards that may exist in the fluidic system. Rinse. This button rinses the fluidic system using a rinsing solution. Extensive rinse. This button performs an extensive rinse on the fluidic system. Priming. After the instrument has not been in use for a period of time, this function clears the bubbles and fills the fluidic system with fresh sheath fluid. Unclog. This button clears a blockage from the flow cell. Back flush. This clears a blockage from the sample injection probe. Purge. If the Novasite needs to be shipped, click this button and follow the procedure shown on the pop-up window to purge the fluidic system before packaging and shipment.